What's up guys? Thank you for joining me for another episode of AD's RX for MD. It's your girl Elise Nicole and today I am recording um, my last video on my whole step one experience. So if you have not seen my last two videos, you should definitely check those out. The first video was about basically my study plan that I had made for step before starting dedicated, how I came up with that plan, and just some general steps and things to keep in mind when you're making a plan of your own. The second video was my actual step one dedicated study vlog and step one results. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about what my study plan actually looked like, how much of what I'd planned to do I really was able to do, how much time on average I spent um, a day studying, as well as things that I would have done differently in my first and second years to better prepare for step. So for one, I'll tell you, I pretty much didn't stick to this schedule at all. Um, it was just too rigorous and I learned that very quickly after just the first, the first couple of days. So um, let's go to where dedicated study started. So originally my plan was for a given subject, if I was weak in it, I was planning on watching the boards and beyond for that subject um, on like two speed and then doing some practice questions, 40 practice questions in that topic, and then getting through a large chunk of the Anki cards that went with that uh, Boards and Beyond video. And it was just impossible. There was not enough time in the day. Just watching the Boards and Beyond content took so much time. Just doing the Anki took so much time. There was no way to get it all done. So after a, like maybe two or three days, I said, okay, um, I don't necessarily learn from watching the videos anyway. It's just a good opportunity to hear the information again. But I always do my major learning through Anki cards. So I thought, okay, let me skip the videos. Let me just start with the Anki cards for the videos that I would have watched, go through those. And then only if there are cards that don't make sense to me or where I need some more context, then I'll go back and watch the Boards and Beyond videos. And that's pretty much how I did it. Um, and then I would do a set of practice questions at the end of the day. Now, I spent probably easily like 12 hours a day studying during Dedicated, which was extremely exhausting. Um, I only did that religiously probably for the first three and a half to four weeks. Weeks five and six were a, a lot more relaxed. Um, not necessarily intentionally so, but I think because I was working so hard for the first several weeks that I just like didn't have a whole lot left to give. So I would definitely recommend not studying that much on a daily basis if you can help it. And some of the things that we're going to talk about later will help you from or will keep, help keep you from needing to have those really long days. In terms of what resources I actually used, um, so I used UWorld and Anki every day. I used the Sketchy Micro and Farm decks, and then I used only a small portion of the Sketchy Biochem decks. I tried to look at Biochem videos to help me kind of uh, brush up on like uh, metabolism, but the, those videos were just way too dense and it wasn't helpful. Um, but the videos that I did find helpful were the videos on like the inborn uh, errors of metabolism. So like um, the Tay-Sachs, crab disease and all that stuff. Those videos were actually really helpful for keeping them all um, like clearly delineated in my mind. So I would definitely recommend watching those videos and doing the accompanying Anki cards. But other than that, the Viacom cards were not very helpful. Um, and then I used Boards and Beyond very minimally just to review things where I really, really, really just needed a quick review. Um, and then finally, just like a couple of days before my exam, I used an Anki deck full of a lot of high yield images and I can link that for you guys. That's really just so you know the types of images that they like to use on the step exams. That just kind of gave me a lot of exposure to images that could possibly show up on the exam. Um, I actually didn't end up using Pathoma and I barely used first aid. I wouldn't necessarily say like I recommend you doing it that way. It's just I didn't have enough time. Um, that's really what it came down to. Um, I didn't feel I really needed first aid, not so much during dedicated, um, but I used it pretty regularly uh, when I was just like re-reviewing content prior to dedicated. Um, so that's kind of it for uh, how much time I spent studying and what resources I used. I pretty much would study from like 
6, 6.30 to lunchtime, eat something, get back to studying. Honestly, didn't have a whole bunch of time for like going to the gym and would usually only have like an hour or so to myself in the evening. So just to like recap what my day to day looks pretty repetitive. I would get up early. I would do some U World practice questions. Um, I tried to get through about 40 a day. Um, I didn't always get through 40 if I'm being honest, but that was the goal. And then I would uh, unsuspend the Anki cards um, for whatever topic it was that I needed to review that day. And I would be doing Anki for like pretty much the rest of the day. Um, I'd take a break for lunch and then I'd get right back into it. Um, so honestly, Anki was like the main part of my dedicated stuff. Okay, one thing I forgot to mention was so the video that I did on my step one plan that I had made prior to starting Dedicated, I showed you guys a spreadsheet that I made to kind of organize everything and organize what I needed to get done and when I was going to do it. A few people asked me for that, so I have linked it. The disclaimer though is like, especially now that we've already talked about it, I really didn't stick too closely to that schedule, at least for watching videos. But what I do have in there is the schedule of when I did different Anki cards. And there are also calculations for how long it would take you to review certain videos, either from Boards and Beyond or Sketchy, or I think Pathoma, um, if you were to watch them at one time speed. And then if you were to watch them at like one and a half or two times speed. So I have provided that for anyone that's interested in that. Um, so yeah, that link is available for you guys in the description box. Um, take it with a grain of salt, honestly. It was really just my attempt at being really organized and having a plan for everything, but it didn't necessarily even work out that way. So if you want it, it's there. So now I want to just talk to you guys a little bit about my study plan what was good about it what was not so good about it and how it could have been better if i had been more prepared uh beforehand i really didn't have enough time to get through as many u world questions as i probably should have done um and i also didn't do a great job of like reviewing along the way so one of the big problems that i was facing was as dedicated was approaching, there was a lot of material that I either had like learned incompletely the first time or I hadn't reviewed it periodically. So it was like super distant in my mind and that required a lot more review of those subjects. So one thing that I would definitely do differently and I did a good job of this my second year or I did a good job of this after second semester of my first year, but I didn't do it for the material in my first semester. So. What I would do differently is go back and after first semester, spend some time looking over anything that I never really learned completely or anything that was just a little bit confusing to me the first time and making sure that I solidify that stuff. Um, I think honestly the reason why I didn't was just because the first semester of med school was like so, so, so hectic and crazy that like it just felt like there was no time to take a break and pick up anything you missed along the way. It almost just felt like you've got to just get whatever you can along the way and there's no time to go back at school. But what I could have done was utilize my Christmas break a little bit more to try to review some of that content. Um, and that kind of brings me to my next point is using first aid a lot more and using it early on. So I didn't really start using first aid that much until second semester. First semester, I don't think I really use it at all. And first aid is really great because it teaches concepts in a very simplified down to basics way and it teaches you everything you're going to need to know to do well on the step exam so one thing that's hard to balance sometimes is like knowing what your professors are emphasizing especially if you have in-house exams versus knowing what's going to be more emphasized on step and for the most part those two do align but you will have instances where a professor is kind of placing heavier emphasis on something that may not be super emphasized for step studying and so first aid is the best place to go to try to reconcile that and try to just um like solidify something that was confusing to you 
Um, and then along with first aid is USM. Well, I really liked the Express videos. They were really good at explaining this content in, um, in, a, in, a, in a really efficient way. Like a lot of the videos were really short. So that's something that I would have done differently. I also, looking back, would keep my Anki cards unsuspended. So a mistake that I made first year was a lot of those uh, subjects and modules that I learned, I would like unsuspend the Anki cards while I was in that subject and then I would suspend them. And I was never really intending on keeping them suspended. My thought process was, okay, I just need to kind of get started with this new module or this new organ system. And right now I don't have time to be reviewing all these other cards, but then once I have more time, I'll bring them back. And it's like, you can't do that. You're never gonna have enough time to bring back that many cards at once. Modules, I did a good job of keeping up with my U World, but not all modules. So that's something I also would have done differently is like be more consistent about doing U World because it is so much easier to do like 10 U World questions um, per day as opposed to having like thousands left to get through for like dedicated now some people will try to get through all of you world once and then reset it during dedicated like you just have to kind of know what's best for you personally there was no way I was going to get through 3700 cards in my dedicated period so that wasn't even a goal of mine um, I've said this in previous videos but something I definitely think I should have done earlier was start using boards and beyond almost right away. Um, it's another one of those really great, like step one focused high yield resources that is going to make sure that you see everything you need to, to be well equipped to do well on shelf exams, um, as well as end of module exams, and then ultimately on step. So I started using boards and beyond in my second, towards the end of my second semester of my first year. So when we were in cardio and I was like, this is amazing. And the thing that I love about it as well is because I'm an Anki person, there are pre-made Anki decks that are well done. They're thorough, all the information is there. And so that really um, increases like your efficiency when it comes to taking in information passively and then actively learning. And that's kind of the last thing that I would have done differently is start using more pre-made Anki decks early on. I did a lot of making my own decks, which was still necessary because again, we had in-house exams. And so there were certain things that might be heavily emphasized by a professor that you just need to know those things. They're gonna ask that question. They ask those questions every year and it's something that they think is really important. So there was definitely a need to make my own Anki cards, but I think the way I would have done it differently going back would be to primarily rely on pre-made Anki decks like Lightyear or the Sketchy decks. And then only those things that my professors emphasize really heavily then make Anki cards for those. So that's pretty much everything that I would have done differently if I could go back. And those are things that I think really would have helped make my dedicated a little bit less intense. Dedicated is going to be intense, but I don't think like if I had done a better job of like reviewing and keeping things fresh in my mind, I wouldn't have had quite as much to try to review uh, leading up to my step exam. But it's all done now, said and done. I'm not planning on doing any more step one videos, but if there are any additional questions that you have, um, I definitely don't mind addressing that either in the comments or with another video. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.